Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is a continuation of Exodus 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant or your livestock, or the sojourner who is within your gates. So this is the first, fifth, the fifth and final part of this series. First part, we talked about rest. Second part, we talked about memorial. Third part, we talked about sanctification. Fourth part, we talked about convocation, the assembly of believers. And the fifth part, we talk about liberty, freedom. Freedom from sin, freedom from laws. The thing that I really want you to take away from this part is that Jesus is greater than religion. We don't have a, a bunch of laws that we have to fulfill and try our best to be good anymore because we just simply have to follow Christ. He naturally follows the laws. He said, I did not come to abolish the law. I came so that the law might be fulfilled through me. When he died and resurrected, he left us with a helper, the Holy Spirit, the third part of the Trinity of God. The Holy Spirit resides within us and tells us what we need to do day by day. He convicts us of sin. He allows us to see scripture that convicts us of sin. And it's a constant communication with God. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. When you get saved, the first thing that will blow your mind is the Holy Spirit constantly communicating with you. And it gives you freedom. You don't have to try hard to be good. If you fulfill the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You just got to work on following Christ and doing what he tells you. He'll have you read the word, He'll have you study, have you pray. And you will naturally fulfill the laws, the laws of Moses, the, the Ten Commandments, the moral law. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Love your stranger as yourself. It will naturally occur. So some verses on freedom. I love freedom. <laughs> Galatians 5.1 For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Just follow Christ and stand firm. Don't go back to your old ways. 2 Corinthians 3.17 Now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The Lord's not some robot. Oh, oh, I got to fit this law. <laughs> no, he's a spirit, just like you're a spirit. You think outside the box. You see a situation, you change to that situation. You, you, you figure things out. You have common sense. Don't you think the creator of you has more common sense than you? He is a spirit, just like you are a spirit. Galatians 5.13, For you were called to freedom, brothers. You're free. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the fl flesh, but through love serve one another. Through love serve one another. Don't use your freedom as an opportunity to say, Oh, I'll just do what I want. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll go to whatever lust. Paul is very clear on that. That if you practice the sin, if you practice, if you keep going back, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible is very clear. It says it a few times. 1 Peter 2.16 Live as people who are, are free. Not using your freedom as a cover-up for evil, but living as servants of God. I'm definitely going to use that verse of the day, that verse for a verse of the day one day. Don't use 
the fact that you are to be righteous is a cover-up to be evil. Don't we see that way too often? John 8, 32. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Who is the truth? What is the truth? He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Yeshua Jesus is the truth. And the truth will let, set you free. Yeshua will set you free. We're free. We are free. Isaiah 61, 1. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Who said that? Yeshua Jesus, he said that. Romans 6, 22. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end, eternal life. Amen. The freedom leaves us to eternal life. To be caught up in sin, to be bound by sin. And I'm going to talk about this further in the future, but I always feel sick. I always feel tired. I always feel lethargic. Like I don't want to do anything. I'm depressed when I'm addicted, when I'm caught in my lust, in my violence, in my wicked thoughts, my wicked words. I am depressed. I'm not happy. But when the Lord came and flipped it, I'm no longer a slave to sin. I'm no longer a slave to being stuck in the muck. I'm instead a slave to righteousness and I can look forward to life. See, when I'm when I'm a slave to sin, I look forward to death. I have nothing else going for me but death. But now that it's been reversed. I have I'm a slave to life. I'm going upwards when I'm done. And that gives a hope of freedom it is my passion to do more righteous. My passion. The last thing. Do I want to say on it being my passion? It I literally look forward to being able to share verses a day with you. I'm free. I don't have to. I, I want to. It is. I, I've realized I accomplished so much more in my Christian life than I've ever done in my unsaved life. I have been able to feed so many people to learn so much to broadcast so much where in my old life I would just sit home and play video games and watch the next show and sleep and be depressed and thinking life sucks whereas instead I'm able to glorify God and indeed that is the freedom that I have that is the freedom of the Sabbath who is Lord of the Sabbath? Jesus. I no longer have to try. That's what this Sabbath thing is. That's what Jesus is about. We no longer have to try. We simply follow him and we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for being our Sabbath and may many get to experience you as our Sabbath, Lord. You've given us so much rest. You've given me so much rest and so much liberation. I cannot wait to turn on music and just praise you, Lord. You're such a good God. May many be saved. In Yeshua's name, amen. Goodbye.